Morning folks, welcome to OCC Queensland Daily Weather App today, the 31st of the 1st, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Lots of cloud cover across the state today, and that's a good thing because it may limit the intensity of some of the thunderstorm activity later on in the day. We're going to see widespread shower and thunderstorm development, so the more cloud we have right now, the less intense that development is going to be. And while we are expected to see some severe weather across the state, the cloud cover may put a lid on the higher end intensity of some of that convective activity. Speaking of thunderstorm activity, let's have a look at where the convective rainfall is expected through the day. We can see early convective development out towards the Isar and through the uh, northern goldfields of Flinders, central west districts and through the Maranoa Warrego region. Later on convective development is expected over much wider areas and you can see the north tropical coast, the Herbert Burdick and getting involved. You can also see Cape York Peninsula getting involved. Uh, widespread convective development over large areas of the state as we go through the afternoon into the evening. You can see convective rainfall pushing onto the coastline in some parts of North Queensland as well and you'll notice that there's convective development through the overnight period too. So just because it's night time doesn't mean the storms just stop. We are still expecting a heck of a lot of nighttime activity, both on the coast and also through parts of inland northern, uh, northern and northwestern Queensland. As we progress into tomorrow morning, you can see some convective development in the morning as well across parts of the coastline. And then through the afternoon tomorrow, we're going to see convective development, particularly over the eastern seaboard and the eastern ranges, as well as north Queensland. There is expected to be a lot of showers and thunderstorms around, but that doesn't mean everyone gets rain. It just means that there's a lot of them. A lot of people getting hit, but a few people still getting missed. And we can see evidence of that in the low resolution modeling. We see much more evidence in the high resolution modeling, which you have available to you if you're a subscriber. But in the low resolution modeling, we can see that there's a big, uh, very small distance difference between areas of less than 10 millimeters and areas of 50 to 100 millimeters up here in North Queensland. We see the same evidence in here in central Queensland. We see some of the same evidence here in southern Queensland. So there's a lot of places that don't quite get hit as well as others and it does come down to a bit of luck and a bit of chance but you do need to be aware that there will be locally heavy falls over the next 24 hours with these showers and thunderstorms over wide areas of northern central and southern Queensland. You'll notice the intensity of rainfall not quite as sharp in southern Queensland just because of the amount of blanketed cloud cover we have and the fact that we don't quite have the depth of tropical moisture that we do further to the north in north Queensland. And you'll also notice there's quite a lot of convective development, particularly overnight tonight into early tomorrow across northeastern Queensland and northern central Queensland's coastline. And that could potentially extend into the Capricornia coastline as well. If you're a Bodie, winds today north to northwesterlies, pretty fresh across much of central and uh, southern Queensland and even starting to develop across parts of northern Queensland as well. So just be aware of that if you're a Bodie, that that north to northwesterly flow, central and southern Queensland, is going to be a little bit prohibitive. We are going to see the monsoon redevelop this week, so we will start to see northwesterly winds increasing across the northwest coast of Queensland and through the Torres Strait Islands. And we see that tomorrow afternoon, those strong winds across the southern and central coast do extend to parts of North Queensland, particularly offshore areas of North Queensland. If you want to know more about anything we spoke about today or you want to look further ahead, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au and grab our thoughts uh, in more detail about what's happening today, tomorrow and beyond. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy those showers and storms. Hope you get under one. And I hope it's not too strong. I'll talk to you tomorrow.